Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart WhatsApp Alert Notification. Now this particular extension allows the admin of the OpenCart web store to enable the functionality of sending alert notifications to the customer's registered WhatsApp mobile number. The admin can send the notifications whenever a customer registers himself within the store, purchases any product and related to the order status tracking as well. Now the customers will receive the notifications on their registered WhatsApp, no, uh, WhatsApp number. The store owner can create and set the notification message templates as required from the backend panel. And whenever a customer registers himself on the website will receive a notification for the same. The buyers on the other hand will receive an alert message whenever he will purchase a product and when the order status is changed by the admin for a particular order that was placed by the customer there. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow at the uh, customer's end and the rest of the initial configuration settings and the admin backend panel. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So uh, also no note that uh, how to set up the Twilio account how to get the sandbox credentials or the configuration there for the sandbox there and how to get the credentials for the initial configuration that are the account SID and the authentication token kindly do refer to the user guide that I've attached within the description of this particular video there for a better understanding there. So uh, first of all, let me show you the workflow at the customer's end. Right now you can see this is a particular window of the mobile snapshot that I'm showing to you right now. So as soon as a new customer registers in the store, you can see that we have a congrats new customer registration done and welcome to this. So this is the WhatsApp message that the customer receives whenever he registers himself within the store using his uh, mobile number there. Then we have the order success uh, or the order details page. So whenever an order is placed, the order details are being sent out to the customer on the WhatsApp there using the uh, alert notification on the WhatsApp itself. And you can also see uh, this is the order uh, success or the order details uh, message that you can see here in the center. And lastly, you can see that whenever uh, the order status has been changed, uh, uh, you can see that a particular alert notification is sent out to the customer on their WhatsApp uh, mobile number as an alert notification. So here you can see in the end, we have congrats new customer, order status changed, order status has been set to complete that. So this is the workflow at the uh, customer's end. Now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you the rest of the configuration settings for this particular plugin there itself. So we'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the username password and tapping on the login button. So first of all, after you have successfully installed this particular uh, plugin, that's the OpenCart WhatsApp alert notification uh, add-on, you'll find one WhatsApp notification option in the side panel here, wherein you'll be able to create the notification templates. So let's first check, check how we can create the notification templates and then we'll proceed further with the initial configuration settings for this particular plugin itself. So under the WhatsApp notification here, you'll be able to go to the notification template. And if you're coming to, uh, for the first time to, to this particular section, then this particular section would be empty. So here you have to create uh, the different uh, notification templates for the registration, for the order place and for the order status updated as well. So these three have to be created and on these three uh, 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 things, uh, that's the registration order place and the order status update, the particular notification template would be used to send out to the customer on their WhatsApp uh, uh, registered number itself. So here you can edit or delete any of the already created notification templates if you have already created. Otherwise to add a new notification template, you can tap here on the add button at the top right hand corner and that would bring up the uh, new notification template section as you can see and here you can add a message so here you have to set, set the name which will be displayed at the time of selection so for example let me go ahead and let me create a demo uh, message there so we'll set it as uh, for example test message so it's just to show you how this particular thing would be then uh, available in the initial configuration settings for selection for the uh, notification template there and uh, within the message you can enter the message for example dear customer and you can go to the info tab and you can choose the uh, keywords here that can be uh, used there for example i can choose 
customer name their customer and customer name let me correct this out their customer customer name comma and you can enter the message thereafter and you can make use of the different keywords that have been provided here for the order id order details customer name order status store currency order link configuration name configuration owner and the rest of the ones that are available here so using these keywords you can set up the data that should be sent out to the particular customer there and after setting this up uh, let me set it as day customer this is a test message and we can tap here on the save button to save this particular template so you can see that the template has been saved here as test message their customer customer name this is a test message so that's how you can create the notification templates for the registration so here we have said congrats customer name registration done welcome to the store url so that's why here you can see that customer uh, congrats new customer registration done welcome to and the store link is visible here now if i go back here you can see that for the order place congrats customer name order successful order details is and the order details and the same is visible here congrats new customer order successful order details is and the uh, here you can see that uh, we have set up the order details and we have set the visit us at store link and the order link and the order link is also visible here so visit us at an order link are and the order link is also visible here within the whatsapp alert notification that has been sent out to the customer there using this particular notification template and similarly you can set up the order status updated one as well as per your own requirement so this was how you can create the whatsapp notifications under the notification template now coming to the initial configuration settings for that you have to navigate through extensions and extensions and here you have to choose the extension type as modules and then you have to navigate to the webcool open card whatsapp notification and you have to tap here on the edit button thereafter after tapping on the edit button you will be on the webcool open card whatsapp notification section wherein you will be able to uh, make the configuration settings here now here for the whatsapp alert section we have whatsapp alert section and the webcool whatsapp notification section so let's go to the whatsapp alert section first so from here you can choose the whatsapp alert notifications uh, so here you can choose uh, for the order related notifications and the registration uh, related notifications should be sent out to the customers there so you have to choose orders and registration here then you have the uh, particular template for the order add edit template so from the drop down you have to choose your particular order add or edit uh, template there and now you can see the test message template is also visible here that we had created under the whatsapp notifications and the notification template so under the notification template we had created the templates for the order uh, for the registration and for the order status there and we have chosen the same here for the registration order status updated and the order place uh, notification template there so this was the whatsapp alert section now coming to the uh, uh, this particular section here here you will be able to enable or disable the module status for your store so you can choose enable otherwise to disable this functionality within your store you can choose the disabled option for the same then we have the stores so from the drop down you can choose the store where this particular functionality should be applicable so right now we have only one store so i've chosen your store then we have the account id authentication token and the twilio whatsapp number now these three things would uh, you'll be able to get from the twilio uh, panel itself after you've registered there and the twilio itself for more details on how to set up the twilio account how to set up the sandbox configuration and how to get the credentials for the initial configuration that are the account SID and the authentication token uh, you can check the user guide that I have attached within the description of this particular uh, video there for a better understanding of how to do the same so that was uh, the configuration now after that you just need to tap here on the save button and uh, the particular configuration settings would be saved there so yes that was much about the open card whatsapp alert notification and i hope it helped you out in understanding how this particular extension allows the admin of the open card web store to enable the functionality of sending the alert notifications to the customers registered whatsapp mobile number and the admin can send the notifications whenever a customer registers himself purchases any product and related to the order status tracking as well so yes that was much about the particular video today and i hope it helped you out if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements 
then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.